How's it going everyone? It's me, it's Kanjinsula, and welcome to another Pokemon Go video. So today, I wanted to go over some data mined info regarding some upcoming changes to the game that will happen during the Halloween event and beyond. There will be a lot of firsts for Pokemon Go, and I do think we need to talk about it. Hopefully, the stuff that I'm going to be talking about will be good for the game. Right, so let's roll the intro and get right into it. Now before we get started, let me say that most of the contents of this video is based on data mined information. None of the things that I'm going to be talking about has been officially confirmed, so take everything that is discussed with a grain of salt. There is a chance that it could all be changed by the time these assets are released into the game, and the way these assets will be used is not known at this time. Alright, so now that I got that out of the way, let's talk about what's coming this Halloween. A few days ago, a bunch of assets were added to Pokemon Go's backend that seem related to the upcoming Halloween event. The good folks over at Pokeminers were able to data mine these assets. As per tradition, the Halloween event is typically one of the biggest in-game events of the year, and it looks like this year might be the biggest of them all. First off, it looks like Niantic is going to temporarily change the look of the in-game map for this event. Some of the data mined assets are actually map assets, and it looks like they are Halloween themed. Take a look at this mockup by the Reddit user 8bitcr of what these assets could look like in game. Honestly, this looks really cool. And it's not just the in game map assets which are going to appear differently. We also have assets that will change up the skybox and the moon in game, as well as some unique decorations for points of interest. Overall, I'm really impressed that Niantic is putting in this much effort into the environmental aesthetics during this in-game event. I don't think they've ever done anything like this, even for paid ticketed events like Pokemon Go Fest. Like, the most we got was some falling confetti and a unique skybox for Hoopa. Other than that, it was still not to the level of detail that they are going with for this event. Seriously, this could have some great implications for the future of this game. I don't know how much work goes into something like this, but it would be really cool if this is something they do for other in-game events. One of the things that has needed a bit of a refresh is the game map, and even though these are likely temporary changes, it's still nice to see some visual updates. Now the next thing that was data mined involved an upcoming new Pokemon, which will seemingly arrive during the Halloween event. This dark type Pokemon is looking like it will have a unique mechanic that might be similar to Ditto. The evidence for this is in the assets and code for this Pokemon, which lists it as a Metamon. This is actually identical to what is currently in place for Ditto. The same Reddit user 8bitcr made a mock-up of what a Zorura encounter may look like, given the data mined assets. Basically, it is going to be another Ditto style Pokemon in the wild. You will catch a random Pokemon, and it will transform into Zorura. This falls in line with how it worked in the mainstream games, where it created illusions to appear like another Pokemon. Now, we also got some data mine assets related to future gameplay mechanics. I don't necessarily believe any of it will be a part of the Halloween event, but they are certainly interesting to see. It's looking like we are going to get in-game video ads, which depending on what they give you in exchange for viewing them, could be a good thing for free-to-play players or something extremely annoying. Typically, I don't mind video ads in other free-to-play games, as they usually have some kind of premium item or currency as a reward for viewing them. It all depends on how the game studio implements them. If they are optional and out of the way, then it's something players can ignore if they choose to do so. However, some studios do implement them poorly, putting them right in your face and preventing you from progressing until you view the ad. This sort of implementation is extremely disruptive to the gameplay loop, which can result in a mass exodus of the player base. Hopefully, Niantic doesn't go that route, but we'll just have to wait and see. Now aside from this, we also seem to have a placeholder for a Hisuian evolution item. That's honestly pretty cool, and a big hint towards what might be coming at the end of this year, or the beginning of next year. Is it possible that this item will be used for some Hisuian form evolutions? We just don't know yet, but I'm excited to see which Pokemon this item will be used for. Finally, and this wasn't part of the data mining, but we might have a hint at what kind of costume Pokemon we might see during this year's Halloween event. The Pokemon company revealed their lineup of Halloween plushies, 
which typically make their way into Pokemon Go as Halloween event spawns. The picture shows a new costume Pikachu, a costume Vulpix, Punkaboo, Gengar, Colorex, Fennekin, and Zorura. At the very least, I predict that the costume Pikachu, Vulpix, Punkaboo, Gengar, and Fennekin that are in this picture will be a part of the event wild spawns for this year's Halloween event. All of these Pokemon are already in the game, and they would be pretty unique compared to the previous year's costume Pokemon. So yeah, all of this is pretty hype. It really seems like Niantic is going all out with this year's Halloween event. That's to be expected, because like I said, Halloween is traditionally one of the biggest in-game events every year. I'm excited to see how the event is going to play out, because Niantic is trying out a lot of new things here, and it could be a standard for in-game events moving forward. The Halloween event is going to start on October 20th, and it's going to run for nearly two weeks. It's going to be one of the longest in-game events of the year, so we'll have plenty of time to enjoy these aesthetic changes. Of course, Niantic hasn't provided any concrete info regarding this event just yet, but I do predict they will make an official announcement with what this event is going to contain. So be on the lookout for that, and I will definitely cover all of the details on my YouTube channel when they come out. Hopefully, Niantic executes the event really well, because I do think there are a lot of positive implications. But yeah, with that said, that's going to be it for this video. Now, I have to reiterate that most of this video was speculative in nature based on data mined info. This sort of stuff typically makes it into the game, but in some cases, Niantic changes them up right before release. So take everything that I talked about with a grain of salt, because there's no telling how it's actually going to be until it is in the game. But regardless, I would love to know your thoughts. What do you think about these possible upcoming Halloween event features? Let me know below in the comments and let's have a great discussion. And if you ended up enjoying this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And don't forget that little bell so you can stay up to date on whenever I upload videos. And I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons on Patreon. You make this channel content possible. If you want to support my channel in any way, big or small, then be sure to check out the links in the description below. For all my patrons, they get a permanent spot on my in-game friends list. So if you want to interact with me in some way, like with remote raids, then do consider becoming a patron on my Patreon. But yeah, that's going to be it. I'm Conscience Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.